My understanding is this is going to be an information gathering meeting right. where we are going to file a list of attributes between the council members and any member of the public who wishes to come and let us know. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. So are we going to have a second meeting now that that's yes. going to be the same format? Yes. And that list of overarching attributes would be presented that people could, we can do the sticky note thing, and, or people could circle, drop it off. Okay, I guess the 19th meeting, have everybody figure out what direction you want to head, what questions you want to ask. So list of attributes. And make, we'll make a decision at that time, right? Any other discussion on this? Pardon? Well, we're not making a motion on anything. We're just gathering. Yeah. But we can add that in if that happens. How's that? No, I'm saying he was wondering about having it to me. It's the same notion of the house and the trial. It's giving the public an opportunity to right. make feedback. We right. Have to, we have to post it as a public meeting no matter what. Okay, any other discussion on that action? We're all clear. The meeting will be here at November 19th at 7 o'clock. Bring all your questions and answers. Okay? All your attributes. <laughs> Best attributes. Best attributes. Okay, moving on. Item 10. City Manager's Report. Very quickly, uh, our Code Enforcement Officer, Richard Naraki, is resigning his position effective December 31st. has nothing to do with the community or the work or anything. He is retired from the Grand Oaks Police Department. He finds himself now working 60 to 70 hours a week. In, uh, in addition to what he does in Cedar Springs, he works uh, a similar position in another community. Plus, he has a catering business, and he's involved in uh, a number of committees and commissions at his church. So it's just not his idea of a retirement. So uh, we'll have to move on uh, replacing him. He's going to provide us some recommendations. Uh, the second is uh, our DPW employee, Phil Rose, has been on extended medical leave. He's uh, been cleared to come back to work on Monday. It will be a welcome addition because he's been busy. So he's uh, going to be back on Monday. That's uh, the extent of my report. Uh, next would be our DPW report. <coughs> I only have one other thing, unless anybody got questions. Uh, the water tower is out of service until probably Monday. Um, it's just being cleaned and, and uh, repaired. Nothing unusual. Okay. We noticed a drop ton in our uh, close to the wastewater plant. Yes. <laughs> I was going to, I see that number and I thought, wow. Can you believe that? Ooh, hard. But yeah, it's great. It's a, a lot. Yeah. A lot. So that whole infiltration thing, it was a thing. It works. Thank you. All the money we spent is uh, about, uh, what, how many thousand? Not extremely. Uh, um, Hundreds of thousands of okay. gallons were not treating. Oh, I'm treating, yeah. It says 264.5. No. That's a lot of water. We're not treating anymore, which is very good fun. Good job. Thank you all. Any other questions? Mr. Clark. Tom, how did, how did the, the uh, new uh, leaf, uh, what's it called? Leaf bag. Leaf bag. Leaf bag. How did that? We, we have not received it yet. Okay. Are they but it? Do they have one? Or? No. So they're building us one. Unfortunately, we won't have it by the time leaf season is done. <laughs> but we'll have it for next year. All right. So. It'll meet, meet the, the emissions change. Yeah, and this, this one is just about on its last leg. All right. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you. I do have a couple of different things, um, nothing to do with the fire department, other than the fact I'm going to lose a friend, and I wish him well. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, not so much as a boss, as a friend. Um, I'm going to miss him. He, uh, he did a lot for this city. He had potential to do a lot more. However, I don't blame him for seeking employment elsewhere, probably with better benefits and better scenery. You can't ask much more than make front property in Manistee. It's a beautiful town. Other than that, if there's no questions from council, I don't have anything. Next is the clerk's report, Linda. I don't have anything to add. Okay. Finance report, Deb? Um, I just wanted to say that we uh, totaled up the city expenses for that final festival. It was $7,534 with the city and expenses for that final. And I wanted to say um, that I enjoyed working with Dad, and I'm happy for him, but I'm sad for us. <laughs> And that's the end of the report. Okay. Item number eight, <coughs> commission, we have uh, those before you. Any other questions on that? Okay, item number 11 in the council comments. Mr. Clark. Well, it's um, a real meeting place that Pike Creek Lumber on Saturdays, <laughs> and a lot of folks from around the area get there and we chat and talk. And uh, I just want to say that uh, because I never can think of Aaron, one of the uh, owners and workers there at Pike Creek. He's always had excellent things to say about that. Tom Doreen can't say enough good things. Of course, they're both part of Rotary. And Bob Ellis, well, of course, Tom is also uh, the head of uh, supervisor in Nelson Township. And Bob Ellis has always been very positive about his work with that. And so even though we didn't always see eye to eye, uh, I wish him well in Manistee. And uh, I think that the, uh, the community around him certainly uh, support his good work ethic. There's no doubt about it. Just say good luck to your dad and your wife up there in Nancy on Big Lake and Big Ships. And uh, on we go. I'm just so happy to see the progress we're making with the library and the CDT and uh, going to get the sooner later. But sooner. Well, I think I'm the only one on the council that was here when Thad was hired, and I wish you well. You've done some really amazing things for our community, and I'm grateful for those things. I also understand that, um, yes, Mary's is beautiful, and yes, it's a wonderful community, and yes, this is a big raise for you. So that's fabulous. I mean, I mean, that's just wonderful. I mean, it's a big raise. <laughs> so, I am really excited for you, for your family, to be able to have this wonderful opportunity. And as much as we will miss things that you have done here, we wish you well and like to see people succeed and fabulous things. <coughs> well, um, as for the rest of the council, that I wish you well. Thank you. I hope all goes well for you this So do I. Right from property, I, I don't know if I can turn it down either. Um, I'd like to thank people who turned out to vote. Uh, I know that uh, I was the only one officially on the ballot. I'm uncertain if there was a write-in candidate, but I think that it shows for the people who did come out to vote your, your true commitment to this country and um, for what lots of people have fought and died for. Grand opening 